Hello there, and welcome to our Vibe and Zendesk series. Today, we're going to walk you through some of the great features that you will have access to when you use Vibe and Zendesk. Let's get started. When a technician or customer experiences a complex or technical problem, an expert can send them a link to a Vibe call by email or SMS. They will receive the call notification and in one click and without download will join the call with the expert. By joining the call, the expert has a clear view of the situation, giving them a better understanding of the problem. They can then use Vibe's wide range of collaborative and AR tools such as screen sharing, collaborative annotations, a red laser on the live video feed, and more to guide the person in need of assistance through resolving the issue step-by-step -step on their own. Today's video will focus on how to share your screen with Vibe in Zendesk. To share your screen, first, click on the screen sharing icon above the collaboration zone. Second, select which screen you want to share and click Share. Your screen is now being shared, so you can click on the tab or document you want to display so that the other caller can see your detailed instructions. To stop screen sharing, simply click on the same icon. Today's video will focus on how to archive your files with Vibe in Zendesk. Following a call, all participants will receive a link to the ticket archives by email. These archives allow participants to look at any feedback, documents, and messages from the interaction. If all participants have opted to record the call, this is also where you'll find the call recording so you can reference it in the future. Vibe's archives improve traceability and can be used to build a knowledge management platform. Now, let's explore how you can access your archives on mobile devices via a link received by SMS. At the end of a Vibe call, customers receive an SMS with a link that provides them access to all data from their interaction, including all messages, documents, and the video interaction in compliance with GDPR standards. 